bit of the Fargo area right now, but earlier today we got this great picture down near the new uh, Sanford Hospital, but also mostly the picture is focused on the sky, and it was snowing at this time uh, at probably up around 30 to 25,000 feet. But these cirrus clouds are made up of snow, and you can see they're kind of kind of striated. There were some fairly strong winds in the upper atmosphere today, and in this case that shows uh, with the clouds. We also have a few cumulus clouds trying to develop. These are called cumulus cumulus because they're really not growing at all. They're very tiny and not developing into anything that you would call a shower, which there aren't any of right now. 70 degrees was our high today in Fargo. Wasserton, Gwinter, 68 Valley City. A little cooler in the Lakes region, but fairly mild all over. And it's been a fairly nice day, officially 70. Six, seven, uh, three degrees above average, 20 degrees below the record. The low was 41, so it was kind of coolish out there this morning. And in the evening, you can see some increase in clouds. There was more of that on the way. 68 degrees, the wind northwest at 13. Cloudy skies are beginning to fill the skies a bit, but the evening will be sort of partly sunny. There are some breaks and holes. Southwest of here, there are some rain showers. Most of this, though, is amounting to just sprinkles at best. Looks like it might rain a little bit around Bismarck, but a lot of this is actually not reaching the ground because the air is so dry, and I do not anticipate any rain into the Fargo area. This is a more of a problem, though. Weather up around Hudson Bay this time of year is very cold. The bay is still frozen over this time of year, and any time in May that we get wind and weather out of that direction, we can usually get a cool snap, and that is, in fact, what is coming our way. The front will be dropping down into our direction tonight, the evening we're fine by morning the front will be here but it really won't be that cold in fact we'll probably still be in the upper 40s or even some low 50s in the morning the front will actually push through the area tomorrow northern valley will be much cooler it'll be a jacket day in grand forks tomorrow maybe not even getting to 60. our weather won't be too bad i think we'll have enough sunshine that it'll be a nice sort of day, a finish to the day but sets the stage this cool air dropping southward, what happens tomorrow night? It looks fairly chilly. Northern parts of the area, I'd say it's 50-50. There'll be some freezing temperatures up there. In our region, it's a little too close for comfort. Of course, we had our average last, average last frost date was Monday, but that's only the average, and it would not be unusual to get a frost this late in the year. Hopefully, we'll miss out, but it's a possibility. Tonight, becoming mostly cloudy, northern valleys, lows, upper 30s, low 40s. Here in Fargo, relatively mild, a slight chance of a sprinkle, upper 40s to around 50, Fargo's low at 47. And then tomorrow, a pretty nice day, a north wind at 10 to 20, but we still manage a high of 69 in the FM area, many spots getting up into the lower 70s. But look up what's going to be like in Grand Forks, more clouds, a high of only about 60 degrees, with some 50s north of Grand Forks. The Fargo seven-day forecast, I'm betting on about 36 degrees now for Thursday morning, so maybe a little rooftop frost, but great news for the upcoming Mother's Day weekend, including the Minnesota walleye opener. By the way, I'll be detailing that tonight at 10 o'clock. Very good. Looking better 